Good morning, guys. I'm up at Riverview. It's about 8 o'clock in the morning. I'm meeting up with a couple of uh, buddies of mine who are also into photography. They're going to be coming at 10. So I figure I'd get here early, get what I wanted to do out of the way. Anyways, I'm just sitting here drinking my coffee. don't normally drink coffee, but I think I need one this morning. Tim Hortons. Woohoo! So what I'm planning on doing today is um, I'm going to be shooting. I'm shooting large format, eight by ten, and I've got some X-ray film. I've got about six sheets, and I've got about six sheets of HP five, and I'm going to take a few shots of the South Lawn building. And what I'm planning on doing is I'm going to be comparing the two. X-ray film being orthochromatic film. That means it can only see blue and green light. So I'm going to be uh, comparing the X-ray orthochromatic shot with the panchromatic shot, HP5. I've got tons of X-ray film. Tons. It was just so cheap. I also have like 100 sheets of x-ray and 14 by 17. And one of these days I'll drag you guys along when I have the 14 by 17 out. Well, hopefully I won't come here, but I probably will. Because <laughs> I don't think I have any shots of the cell phone building on that format. <coughs> It's just so nice and cozy and comfy warm in here. I don't want to leave. Now the fun part is leveling the tripod as best as I can. Got a little bubble level there. Try the 210. Nico. 210. And I have cable release. I didn't forget it. Close. Pop the shutter. Sounds good. Open up. I have my radial focusing hood. Probably a little bit hard to see at that hot spot right there, but you can see what I see when I'm composing. Look at the building, the tree, I can see right to the edge. I have to decide, do I want to focus on the building and let the tree go to focus, or do I want to focus on the tree and let the building go to focus? I kind of like the tree in focus, so I'm going to go with that. Quarter of a second at F16. I think I'm gonna do it F16 at an eighth, or even 15th at 11. Okay, let's go with that. This film holder. I've got two sheets, one on either side. Cock a doodle doo. Such fast shutter speeds. So I've got a quarter of a second at eight and a third. There's my base. F11 and a third. I think the HP5 was F11. That's pretty close. Except the shutter speed is going to be a quarter of a second. You can see it's got a white side and a black side. Black side, white side out means there's unexposed film inside. Black side out means there's exposed film. So if I don't get mixed up, I do it the dreaded double exposure, which has happened. Okay, so that's this one. 
Yeah, I'm just gonna leave my stuff there and just walk over here and have a quick look. It's a beautiful day. Ooh, 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 ooh. Look at this up here. Look at this, look at this. Ooh. That looks really creepy. Let's get a shot of that. Probably going to be a, a lens change here. So, this is a job for composition, sessor, outer. Probably the tripod here, probably my 300, the Nikkor 300M. This cable release tastes salty. Salty cable release in. Shutters open. Sometimes it takes a lot longer, especially when you got to fiddle with the back and the front standards. You know, keep them parallel to the facade so we don't get any converging lines. So kind of what I'm expecting with the X-ray film being orthochromatic, um, which means basically only sensitive to blue and green. I'm expecting any of the red bricking should come out, should be rendered a lot darker than the panchromatic, the HP5 shot. Um, I'm expecting the grass to be a little bit lighter in the orthochromatic shot. Anyways, we'll see what happens. So I'm going to take a meter reading of the dark areas between the columns. So I'm going to shoot HP5 first, EI of 250. E-I-E-I-O, take a meter reading, 60th of F8. Okay, so I already shot this side because black is out, so I'm going to shoot it on this side. Cock. Black side out. Black side is done, white side. out. Okay, so I think that's enough. But two different compositions. Just to recap what I'm doing, I've shot two sheets of film for each subject and one of the sheets of film is x-ray orthochromatic sensitive and the other is HP5 which is panchromatic develop those and we're going to see how different they look. See you later.